Hello, how are you? My name is Neil, and welcome to this stock investing meetup in Farmers Branch, Texas, which is just outside Dallas, Texas, where the goal is 50% ROI on an annual basis. Today is March 30th, 2019, and it's going to be a brief session today We'll take a look at a couple of stocks that were in the news recently because of sudden movements. We'll review our previous portfolios of December, Jan, and Feb. And after that, we'll take a look at some new stocks. That'll be part of the March portfolio. And I like to remind everyone that the only question really is, are you making money? All of the other stuff, the chatter, the noise, can sometimes become distracting. So it might be a good idea to focus on the main purpose of the activity in the financial markets. What we do is focus on making money. So you can track these stocks, verify, see how they're doing. I'm not recommending any of these stocks, but if you wish, you can take a small position, which will act as a prompt for you to keep track of these stocks that we mention in all of these meetups. As most of you know, we have this meetup on the last Saturday each month. So the next one's going to be on Saturday, April 27, same time, same place. So recently you may have heard um, in the news, financial news especially, that Kraft Heinz tanked quite a bit. There was some chatter about that, various opinions of why it happened and what's going to happen next, all of that. And this is how the chart looked in the lower part of it. That's where there was a sudden move. Also in the news recently was Boeing, Seattle-based. They had a crash of Lion Air a little while ago and then more recently another crash in Ethiopia. So they have this problem with Boeing 737 MAX. And the chart looked like this with a drop which was quite sudden. So how can we handle these unexpected events which affect that company's stock? Sometimes it goes against you and sometimes it goes in your favor. So some basic things, in my opinion, that we can do is firstly, of course, the diversification, distributing your risk, controlling the position size, not putting all the eggs in one basket, the old idea. Also make sure you have stop losses in place to minimize the damage. You might be okay with getting a dent in your car, but you don't want to see it totaled. That's the idea. And also on the other side, it's a good idea to put in place the take profit orders. That way, when it does move in your favor, you'll be able to capture that profit. Because oftentimes the price moves suddenly in one direction and then pretty soon it swings the other way. So all of the profit then gets evaporated. So to avoid that, 
putting in place take profits also is important. And in general, it's a good idea to monitor that company's activities, basically the general news, uh, that sector, that economy. So if a situation develops that warrants your attention, you can take the necessary action, maybe get out of the stock entirely, or in some cases, you may want to add to your position, depending on what those developments are. So these are some basic ways we can be prepared to handle such eventualities. Okay, let's look at our previous portfolios to keep track of, the, of their uh, movements, their current status. And we'll do this at each meetup, uh, just a summary of previous portfolios, where the goal is to get an ROI of 50% return on investment on an annual basis. So the December 2018 portfolio had these stocks. You can go take a look at it. It's on YouTube. That's probably where you're watching it now. And just so you know, the name of the YouTube channel is Stock Investing Meetup. And this uh, meetup recording is uploaded on the day of the meetup or the day after that, but pretty quickly in any case. So December 29th was the last meetup on Saturday. On the Friday close, 117.71. And as of yesterday's market close, it's at a slightly higher number, 133.55, which represents a gain of 13%. January 2019 had these stocks. Lithium Americas Corporation, Hudson, Refrigerants, and so on, 48.53. As of yesterday, 52.94, which represents a gain of 4.4%. We still have another 10 months to go because all of these are with a one year time horizon. And the most recent, February 2019, at these stocks, 92.42, as of yesterday, just over $100, which represents a gain of 8%. And we have another 11 months to go on that one. Next, we're going to see a few stocks for this portfolio, March 2019. The first one is Five Star Senior Living, as the name indicates. Senior Living Communities. The baby boomer generation is now getting into the retirement years, so I expect there will be continued need for such services. They have a range of options, assisted living, independent living, all kinds of, uh, you can tailor make your uh, service package and they have more than 270 such uh, centers or communities around the U.S. Their stock is now trading at 97 cents. I'd like to get in just a little bit lower, 60 cents. So I've got an order to buy at 60. At the bottom right, right about there, Netshoes. This company is based in Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil. A couple of cousins of Armenian descent started a physical brick and mortar store in Sao Paulo, just across from the university there, selling 
sports-related equipment and shoes and clothes and so on. They had a few more stores in the next few years. And then around 2002, I believe, they decided to shut down all of the brick and mortar stores and just go entirely online. And that's what they do, selling sports related merchandise in Brazil, Argentina and Mexico. Their stock is now at $1.67. Somewhere here would be a good price to get in, and I expect it to rise. We'll see how it all pans out. eGain, this company provides customer engagement solutions. So as an end user, when you click on the chat button and you're being assisted by a person, or sometimes nowadays it's a machine that... Uh, does the chat they call it a chat bot or when you call or send an email or even the social media applications they the, the companies want to engage their customers get feedback uh, understand the trend refine their marketing campaigns and techniques uh, do better targeting messaging and also for product design so these are the kinds of uh, services that are needed and in an ever increasing digital world, companies like eGain offer the solutions to companies that are essential to successful business outcomes. So their stock is now at 1045. I'd like to get in just a little bit lower. So I've got an order to buy at 850. Kiasma, this company uh, has a new technology, pharmaceuticals business. Traditionally, medicines have been delivered uh, with pills or capsules or injections. So this company's technology offers a circumvention of the injection method, which goes directly into the bloodstream. This company offers delivery of medicines by capsules, so a person can swallow that. And the technology that they developed allows the molecules of the medicine to be ingested by the stomach lining and that's their niche, that's the technology they. So it has many uses, I suppose, advantages. And their stock is at 520 now. Now it could drop a little bit from where it is now, that's a possibility, so uh, I would make sure that the stop loss is not too tight on this. So in any case, somewhere in this region would be a good entry point as I see it. And then you can leave it in there for two or three years if you wish. But the time horizon for all of these stock picks of mine is one year. That's what we are working with, the selections of stocks, the entry points, and the way it's structured. Polarity, this company is based in Salt Lake City, Utah. And they have a platform that allows the development of cells or tissue. So it's regenerative medicine. That's the area they work in. So it's useful for, for example, burn victims. And they need skin replacement for basically the skin that does not replicate, which would happen in the normal course, you know, the healing process. So the way they do this is they take a small tissue sample from the patient and using their platform they create the tissue or the cell and then it's sent back to be used by doctors who are treating that patient so it's good for skin cells you know bone cartilage all kinds of things so 
the technology is going to be useful to treat patients who are suffering from uh, either natural causes or you know industrial accidents car accidents any kind of burn victims all kinds of benefits are are possible with this technology so their stock is now at 1070 and that's where i'd get in but wait for it to drop a little bit at 750 that's about where i've got an order to buy funware company based in austin texas offers platform for mobile apps development all kinds of things and mobile is on the rise of course everybody knows that so they have mobile software cloud-based and uh, vertical solutions all kinds of stuff their stock is now at 1369 it spiked a little bit quite a bit actually in january it was dazzling spectacular rise so that may not happen again that's wishful thinking perhaps so it might go horizontally a little bit in my view um, and then again it could see a rise but that's where I have a position right about here at 1369 RYB a company in China that offers uh, preschool kindergarten that kind of stuff and they have hundreds I think over a thousand centers all over China so their stock is now at 660 somewhere here seems like a good entry point in my opinion Pink Tan Marine, they are engaged in ocean fishing. Uh, from their website, I learned they ordered 27 more vessels, fishing vessels. And so uh, it appears to be a growth company. Their revenues have risen in the recent past. Uh, and they have fishing operations in the waters surrounding China, Indonesia, and the Bay of Bengal. So this company's stock is at 237 as of yesterday's market close. Somewhere here would be a good entry point, in my opinion. Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. They are publishers in the education business. It's an old company, more than 185 years old, I believe, based in Boston, Massachusetts. Used to be all paper, obviously, but now they've moved into digital to keep up with the times. And it recently had a Pull back, so that's what presents us with an opportunity to enter where it just uh, finished doing a pullback or is about to finish in any case. That would be a good entry point. And that's it, that's all I got, folks nine stocks in the March 2019 portfolio. We'll take a look at all of these portfolios each month at each meetup. I'll uh, present a summary of how that portfolio is doing. So individual stocks don't matter as much as the entire portfolio. Is it making money? And that's what we'll look at. The goal being 50% ROI, and I wouldn't be surprised at all I wouldn't be surprised if we meet 
and perhaps exceed the 50% ROI on an annual basis. We'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. Okay, so that's it for this meetup. Our next meetup is going to be the last Saturday in April, which is the 27th, and I'll see you there, 3 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.